That is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaya. Today we are going to be listening to Burzum for the very first time. We are going to be listening to their song Dunkle Height. His his song, it's Varg. It's Varg Vikerness. Today it's Dunkle Height. I think uh, that's just how I'm going to pronounce it. I don't know if that's correct, uh, but I don't really care. Uh, Varg very controversial mister um i feel like people like him and then people hate him and uh i feel like there's there's like a mix of 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 the vibes <laughs> so uh we already know the controversial history and past of mr varg vikerness uh but today we're gonna check out his one man group that he created after mayhem's fallout if you want to call it that. So, uh, Dunkle Height, I was told by my Discord, is a really popular song. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Love the drum sound. There's a very, very low 
guitar harmony it is buried under the main riff but it's accenting and harmonizing what this kind of electronical sound is doing and it's gorgeous it's just it's perfect you got to really listen for it though it's buried underneath that main riff this is not what I was expecting at all. And real quick, I'll finish my thoughts before we finish the song. It's so modern and refreshing, even though it's from like the early 90s. This like, I don't know, this electronic. Ba-na-na, it's so modern. It almost is reminding me of something that's like that Kanye would use or like that's that I've heard in various like pop music mostly hip-hop music in a really really good way I really like it this melody this riff is pinched fingers and I love his acid bath style food like acid bath style vocals with this filter let's continue This record was ahead of its time. I can already tell. Love him or hate him, Varg. This was ahead of its time. I don't know. It's just so interesting. Like I mentioned, you've got the super heavy, heavy 
vocals with this filter. It's like such a heavy filter. You can hardly understand what he's saying. And all the vocals are buried in the mix, which somebody commented on this video and said, fun fact, this album was recorded in the Greek Hall, a professional recording studio in Bergen, or Bergen, Norway. The reason it sounds so bad is because it was recorded on cheap equipment and not mixed. It was recorded that way to give it a more raw and dark feel to it. Um, and yeah, I mean, I could hear it. it definitely, you know, the vocals are, are definitely buried in this. Um, the guitar is very crunchy, very crunchy, a little too crunchy. But what really makes the song just so good is is that that melody, that electronic. It's like a key. I, I'm guessing it's a keyboard sound and it, it's so catchy. And this song is so like badass and and kind of depressing and it's so much different than some of the atmospheric black metal that we've had on the channel um and just like mayhem it's got this very it's just different than just normal black metal um mayhem was all was just more experimentation in less in as well as black metal there was a lot of experimentation that they were doing um a lot of different you know, there was some thrash elements and whatever else. This is ahead of its time. Acid bath. I'm getting acid bath in the vocals. I'm getting like some of the best of like the 80s. And it's going to not really make sense. But his spoken word section makes me think of a lot of the like spoken word stuff that you kind of hear the delivery method of some of the 80s the best of the 80s tracks specifically like you know age of consent by new order or stuff that you hear from depeche mode i don't know that's kind of what what i'm thinking of in terms of his delivery for how he he delivered the 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 spoken word and it's it's awesome to hear this kind of like lazy singing of the spoken word it's very like like comes from almost a, a depressive state a, a state of being in the loony bin i mean because we know varg definitely spent some time in the loony bin after the breakup of the original mayhem <laughs> um it i could listen to that riff with the with the keys that key sound all day every day that is so catchy and i'm so shocked that there hasn't been a rap artist hip-hop artist music producer that's done something with that riff because it is fire it is ah oh. it's beyond its time really it doesn't sound that riff and the sound of that keyboard sound does not sound like 1991 at all it sounds like something from the last like 10 years maybe even five it's got to beat to it it's literally i don't know it's ahead of its time i don't know what varg did but this is a fire song it's one of those good you know <laughs> It's one of those good catchy kind of droney songs, which, you know, atmospheric black metal does. Some artists do it well. Some artists don't do it well. It really depends. It really depends. Um, and, you know, it's the same riff over and over again. And that can be really that can be done well. It can also be done not well. And this is a case of it being done really, really well. Um, another person said Love him or hate him, we can't deny the fact that Varg was the father of atmospheric black metal. What do you think about that? Do you also agree that he's the father of black metal? Um, because I've heard that Varg, Burzum as a whole, his solo project, um, even though he's a controversial character, his work with Burzum really did help um, grow the genre for atmospheric black metal and black metal as a whole. Um so what do you think this person also said i love how the album artwork is both innocent looking and also disturbingly creepy at the same time they really hit the mark i agree i agree 
just sometimes the medieval artwork always <laughs> is a little more creepy. But, you know, Varg is... Varg is Varg. He'd be just be doing Varg things. So, I don't know. I, I, I really enjoyed this song. This was really, really good. And I'm now going to have that riff stuck in my head, that melody stuck in my head all damn day. All damn day. So, you're going to have to let me know what you think about Burzum as a whole. I genuinely probably already know what you think about Varg anyway. But if you want to share your thoughts, you can. Um, what was his importance and his relevancy um, in perpetuating black metal and in growing black metal and atmospheric black metal as a whole. Um, what was his importance? Like, what was his impact with that? Other than the controversial stuff, we know that musically, okay? Musically. Um, because I really enjoyed the song. I really enjoyed the song. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, and comment on this video. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please feel free to do so. I post weekly videos documenting my metal journey as a brand new metal head. I've also got a Discord, the Mosh Pit. There's an invite link down below in my description, as well as my PO box. If you want to send something to be featured in one of my monthly metal unboxing videos. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, you guys.